Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a first person camera in Godot using C, C Sharp. So, without wasting any time, let's start the video. We will start by creating a new Godot project and just name it anything you want. Okay, after the project is created, we are going to create a node and it will not be of any of these type. It will be just a normal node. And we will just rename it world. It is for the world C. And then inside that, I will just add a static body 3D. And inside that, two nodes, one will be the mesh instance 3D. Mesh instance 3D. And also collision shape 3D. And find that the collision shape 2D is 3D should be inside the static body 3D and not inside this one. Now, this is for the world. Now, we will just create uh, give a, uh, a box geometry for the mesh instance 3D and also the collision shape 3D which will represent the ground. Just click on this uh, mesh instance 3D and to the mesh we are going to add a box mesh. Similarly for the collision also box mesh. Okay. Now we are going to change its size uh, because it's the ground and should be somewhat larger. I'll just give 30 for the, all the coordinates but just click on this button so that we can give different values for different coordinates. For the Y I'll just give 2 and for X and Z 30. Now come into the collision shape 3D and we we'll need to transform it again. Just click on this button. So that we can give different values, different coordinates again. And the y will be 2 and z will also, z will be 30. Now we can see that it is, uh, both of these are aligned together which means the collision will work. You just uh, click on both of these. Click on um, pad 1 to uh, go into this side view. And just control plus drag this to the ground. So it is in exactly on this level. Now we are going to add some reference boxes so that while moving the player we can understand that we can easily understand that we are actually moving. Just click on this uh, add icon in the static body 3D we are going to add CSG box. It will be just cubes and I will just uh, increase its size into 3, 3 in all the directions and then just move it upwards. I am just going to click Ctrl D to duplicate that and place it in different locations and then I am just do it again. Okay, now the reference cubes are done. We will just add the environment to scene. Okay, just click on this add environment to scene and also add sun to scene. So that we get a basic lighting while running. Now we will click on, we will just save this one. Just save scene. Just save it as world.tscn. Then click on this button to add a new scene and it will be of other node. We will just give it a character body 3D. And then I will just rename it to player so that it is self explanatory. And then inside that, I will just add a static, not a static body 3D, just a mesh in, uh, instant 3D. Because we are going to be moving our player and static body, static means at rest. So, we cannot move that. Now, in the uh, player, we are going, in the player, we are going to add a new item, which is the collision shape 3D. To check the collision between the player and so that uh, the gravity works fine. When we land on the floor, then we do not go down again. So, for that, we are adding this collision shape 3D. Now to the mesh instance 3D we are going to give it a capsule shape and similarly for the collision also capsule shape. The next step is adding the camera and because it's a first person shooter it will be uh, like it will be like the eye cam. So in the player we are going to add a camera 3D and then I will just assign, I just move it upwards so that it's like the eyes of the player. We are going to add this player onto this world scene otherwise you will not be able to see anything because there, there should be the camera and also the ground in order to see something. So we are going to save this scene as the player.tscn. Now come into the world, click on this world node, right click, instantiate, child scene and just click on this player.tscn. So the player comes inside this scene. Now we will just move it upwards and we can see that the player is in here. Now the camera is pointed towards this direction, we can see that the camera is present in here. Now we are going to add a script to the player to look for the uh, movements. Click on this player node, click on this button to add a new script. Enable this character body 3D basic movement and just uh, put it anywhere you want. Now in mind Visual Studio is opening Visual Studio code. Now if you want that to do in the in yours also, just go into the editor general, go down into .NET editor and in here select Visual Studio code. If you don't, if you want to use it in uh, Godot itself, just use disabled. So I just want to use it in Visual Studio Code. Now we can see there's there is a basic code and let's just test it out. Okay, 
Just go into the world scene first, save everything. I'll just save all scenes. And then go into the world scene, click on this button to run it, select current. If you are in the player scene and select current, then the player will be the parent scene, but then you cannot see anything inside the world scene. So we want to select the uh, world as the uh, current scene. And then we can move the player only with the arrow keys, but we want to uh, do it for with the W, A, S, D and also we need the mouse motion. So that's what we are going to be doing next. Just go into the project, project settings, input map, we are going to add some input maps. One of them will be the left, this is for the movement, left, right, uh, forward and back. And we also need the jump and also quit. To the left, I am going to add in the A key and also the uh, left arrow so just select a key also i'll just add the left arrow for the right uh, there should be the d d key and also the right arrow so right uh, for the forward there should be w and also the up key, up arrow, similarly for the back we need the S, and also the down arrow. Now for jumping we will click on the space bar, so just add space into that. And for the quit when we click on the escape we want our game to quit. I'll just uh, explain why we are doing it when we uh, implement that. Okay, now we have created all the input maps. Next step is uh, making some changes to the script. Now, with using this line, we are uh, actually moving, but we are going to change it. Instead of UI underscore left, we are going to give it the custom uh, input maps that we made. Instead of UI underscore up, we want to be it to be forward because that's what the game uh, name that we gave for the input map. And this time, instead of UI down, we want it to be back. Now, this UI accept is used for jumping, so we are going to change it to jump. Now, let's test it out. When we click on AWSD, we can see that our player is moving, and also when we click on the uh, arrow keys, also when we click on space, it's jumping. Now, the next thing is the mouse motion. So what we are going to do is we are going to actually we also we need to access the camera and rotate it whenever necessary. In order to access that we first need to create an object of the type camera 3D. So it will be a private variable because we are not going to be using it any other uh, files. So private camera 3D because the camera 3D is the type and then we will just name it camera. Then we need to override uh, the ready function and we are going to uh, get the camera node of our uh, from our player so this node we are going to get and we need to assign that this camera variable to that node so public override void underscore ready we are going to call the ready function i mean create the ready function and then inside that we are going to get the camera camera will be equal to it's a node so get node and then the type of the node is camera 3d and then we need to pass in the uh, <coughs> node path of this camera so we can see that this uh, the script is of this player node and inside that this camera node is directly present it is not nested to anything or if it is nested to anything just right click on it and the copy node path and just paste it inside this one so the camera 3d is present the camera 3d is because it's the name of this node if you change this to camera or something you will need to pass that specific value in here with this we are getting the camera now one more thing that we need to do is we need to look for the mouse movement so in order to look for the mouse movement we want the mouse to be available we, are, we want to check for its motion and to do that we need to set change the mouse mode as default it will be something like visible and all we want to change it to captured so we use the input dot mouse mode and we will set it to input dot mouse mode enum dot captured that is we are going to capture the motion of the mouse and then we need to create a function, we need to override a function in order to check the events or the events. So it's again public override void itself unhandled input. And we, we don't want this one or this line again. 
we are going to check for the mouse motion event so if at event is input event mouse motion that is we are moving the mouse we are going to check for the mouse motion event and we will just name it mouse motion then if that's the case we want to rotate our player and also the camera we are going to rotate the player in the y direction and we are, how do we uh, uh, how much do we and in what direction should we rotate it based on the uh, rotation uh, motion of the mouse in the x direction we will rotate the player in the y direction so minus we will rotate it by minus of mouse motion dot relative dot x and then this one will be very fast so we are going to multiply it by 0 0.02 which will reduce the speed uh, a lot and then we also need to rotate the camera that's why we created this camera instance so that we can access this camera dot rotate x we are rotating it in the x direction because uh, because we want it to be in the up up and down direction and the camera's coordinate is not like the other coordinates so camera dot rotate x in the minus mouse motion dot relative dot y instead of x as time we did uh, x this time y again we are going to download it by the i mean uh, multiplied by the same factor 0.002 f f is because it's for the float syntax in c sharp now let's come in here and test it out and with this we can move our player we can rotate our player using the mouse and we can rotate up and down that means our first person shooter is set up properly but how can we quit the game because the mouse is captured right now we, we cannot see the mouse how can we quit it we we'll need to just do something like this so we are going to make some changes to that we when we click on the escape key we want our game to quit so click on this world node and uh, world node and attach a new script again c sharp itself and we can see the world is created and we are going to override another function which is we are going to check for the events unhandled input itself and this time if the action is the quit action that we just created in the input map so if input dot action is action first if we uh, pr uh, just uh, did the quit action so we just pass in the quit if we uh, do the quit action or click on the escape then we want to quit everything so get tree dot quit now what this get tree does is it gets all the items inside this world node everything in our game is inside this world node so when we just call the get tree on this one everything will be uh, accessed and we are just quitting everything which means the app will also be quit now let's run it and now uh, our movement is working it fine when we click on escape the game is closed thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you liked it please like share and subscribe and i'll be back with another video soon